In the United Methodist Church, we have open communion. That means if you believe in Jesus Christ and you repent of your sins, you are welcome to come forth and receive. Once again, you should have your communion elements ready. So at this time, what we will do is you will have a server in your group, whoever you choose as a server, and they will give the bread to you, you will pull off a piece, and they will say, his body broke, given for you. Then you will dip it in the juice. They will say, his blood shed for you. And then you will receive communion. When you're done, then you can say a prayer and have everything set here. And um, I'll explain in a minute what to do with the leftover elements. So Greg, would you please come forward? His blood shed for you. Teresa, his body given for you. His blood shed for you. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Now at this time, you are communion stewards also. So the bread or crackers or whatever you got, when we're done with the service, at home you will break them apart and you will spread them around in some grass somewhere outdoors. It could be in a woods, it could be in your backyard, it could be in a park. I don't care where, but you do not use them anymore. They are consecrated. They are set apart. The juice, you will go out into your grass somewhere and you will gently pour it out and then you wash the containers that you used, okay? That is how you handle the elements when you are done. Remember, they are consecrated. Now, our next song is Because He Lives. Number 364, we're doing verses one through three. The words are in your bulletin.
blessing and the charge. Receive the good news. Christ is risen from the dead. Tell the good news. The power of death shall no more oppress us. Live the good news. We are free to love as he loved us. And may God who raised Jesus from the dead bless you. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, raise you with him in glory, for he has already rolled the stone away and taken away our fear. Amen. <laughs> 